Hi all, my name is Jade. I've been a certified yoga instructor since 2018 and a practicing yogi for a bit longer than that. And this is a five-ish minute sequence to increase hip mobility, strength, and balance. So we're gonna start on our bottom, come into a nice comfortable cross-leg position. Whatever that means for you, we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale out of the nose. Make sure throughout your practice, you're breathing in through the nose and exhaling out of the nose. Just get to tuck the throat. So a nice deep breath in. And exhale slowly out. Good job. Open the eyes, bend the knees, soles of the feet flat to the mat, then move those feet, each foot to one edge of the mat. Flex the feet, reach the arms on the inside. So elbows are touching the inside of the knees. Grab the outsides of the feet with your hands. If that's not accessible, hold on to the ankles or the calves. Inhale, spin the chest forward, head can go back. And on the exhale, you're gonna round the back like you're pulling it towards the back of the room, drop the head. Two more of those. Inhale it. Exhale, round the back. Last one. Exhale. Good job. Bring the feet together across at the ankle. Roll forward, coming onto all fours, tabletop position. Hands are below the shoulders. No jumping down. Push the mat away from you. Bring the knees in slightly closer together. And then you're going to keep that knee bent and then open up the leg. Flex the foot, splay out the toes and then bring it back to center. Two more of those, inhaling it up and exhaling it down. Engage the core. Don't lean too far to the side. Stay nice and centered. And let's do one more. Good job, pause here. Keep that knee bent and then we're gonna send that foot up towards the ceiling. Good job, then round the back, bring that knee in towards the chest. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, round the back. Knee in towards the chest, last one. Send that foot back again, you can stay here. And then try and lift that right hand out in front of you, foot stays planted firmly to the mat. You can stay here or you can reach around, grab a hold of that foot. Maybe you just touch it, maybe you grasp it. If you hold on to the foot, push your foot into your hand. Send the toes towards the ceiling, then turn back. See if you can take a look at the foot. Maybe you look up at the ceiling. Chest is rolled forward towards the ceiling. Good job, nice and easy. Release that hand, send it out in front of you. Straighten the leg, flex the foot. Bring hand down, bring the knee back down towards the mat. Nice deep breath in through the nose and exhale. Good job, same thing other side. Flex the foot, toes blade open, open that knee nice and wide. Open the leg nice and wide. Good job. And the knee comes in towards the chest. Then bend the knee, send the foot forward up towards the ceiling. Inhale, knee towards the chest. Exhale, foot towards the ceiling. One more. Inhale, knee towards the chest. Exhale, foot towards the ceiling. Pause here. Then extend that left arm out. Breathe into it, pushing the mat away from you. Reach around, see if you can touch that foot or grasp the foot. Roll the shoulder back, chest goes towards the ceiling. Maybe take a look at back at the foot. Toes are going towards the ceiling. Foot is pushed into that hand. Good job. Release it slowly, knee stays bent. Arm comes out and then leg extends. Good job, bring that hand down nice and slowly. Knee comes down to the mat. Big inhale in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. 
Good job. Open the knees so each knee comes to the edge of the mat. Toes stay together. Lean back like you're going to come into your child's pose, but instead come into sphinx arms. So that just means that the forearms are resting on the mat. Then you're going to shift the weight to the left and then turn that thigh towards the mat. Breathe into it. So it's a really subtle motion. Come back to center. Then you're going to lean to the right and then twist that thigh like you're trying to get the inside of the thigh to touch the mat. Breathe into it. Slowly come back to center. Come back up onto the hands. Bring the knees in. Cross the ankles. Come into a comfortable seated position. And then send those legs out in front of you. Coming into Dandasana staff pose. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward like someone's pulling your chest towards that wall in front of you. Come over nice and slowly. Fold forward. You can hold on to the feet, the shins, or you don't have to hold on to anything at all. You can just let the hands relax next to you. Breathe into it. Good job. Slowly roll up. Come into a comfortable cross-legged position. You're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Open the eyes slowly. And that was your five-ish minute sequence for increased hip mobility, balance, and strength. Hope it helped.